Final Fantasy III was a landmark title for its time. But is the game still worth playing today? In this video, I'll show you what the game is like and explain the key differences between the two main versions of the game. Just to be clear, this video is about the game that was called Final Fantasy III in Japan, not the American version of Final Fantasy VI. Final Fantasy III is a classic Japanese RPG. You control the Warriors of Light, four young orphans on an epic quest to save the world from darkness. There's a huge world map to explore, and while the game starts out very linear, it opens up quite a bit after a few hours. Getting your hands on airships and other modes of transportation will give you access to new parts of the world, and the second half of the game is full of places to go and secrets to find. Towns provide a place to rest, buy equipment, and gather information, but most of the game takes place inside of dungeons. There's branching paths to explore, hidden passages to find, and secret treasure to claim. But for the most part, dungeons are really just a test of endurance. Moving through the world will trigger random encounters with monsters. Battles use a fully turn-based system, where you give commands to all four heroes before the start of each round. You have the option of attacking, casting spells, and using items, and characters can also make use of special abilities unique to their currently equipped job. Combat is pretty simple by modern standards. Instead, the main draw of the game is the job system. Each character's attributes and abilities are based on their job, such as thief, white mage, or summoner. And the heroes can switch jobs at any time through the party menu. There's more than 20 different jobs to unlock, and each one fills a different role. Most of the fun comes from experimenting with different combinations of jobs to find your preferred playstyle and defeat the various challenges the game throws at you. Final Fantasy III's story is a mostly straightforward quest of good versus evil. It's got some cool moments along the way, but no real surprises, and you'll have to use your imagination to get the most out of the story. The original game's heroes are nameless avatars, and while the 3D remake gives them names, a bit of background and some personality, it's super basic compared to the complex, character-focused stories told in later Final Fantasies. Final Fantasy III doesn't have the deep story or engaging combat you'd expect from a modern JRPG, but if you're a fan of classic, no-nonsense adventures, you'll probably like this game. It's a cozy little quest in a vast fantasy world, and there's plenty of secrets to find and treasure to hunt down. Fans of Final Fantasy might also get a kick out of seeing the first version of the famous job system, the first appearance of summoned monsters like Shiva and Ifrit, or the origin of the Crystal Tower. Final Fantasy III is available for iOS, Android, and Steam. And there are two versions to choose from, the Pixel Remaster and the 3D Remake. Before I get into that, I'd be super grateful if you could hit the like button and leave a quick comment as it really helps the video reach more people. And if you like this type of content, consider subscribing to my channel. The game called Final Fantasy III is the Pixel Remaster. This is a faithful update of the original NES title with beautiful 16-bit pixel graphics, a rearranged soundtrack and lots of improvements to the user interface. The other game is called Final Fantasy III 3D Remake. This version was originally released for the Nintendo DS and reimagines the game in basic 3D graphics. The 3D remake gives the heroes names and personalities and expands the story with added dialogue and cutscenes. It's still the same story, just with a bit more detail. The 3D remake is also a much more difficult game and comes with a bonus dungeon, a super boss to challenge, and additional side quests with cool rewards. The Pixel Remaster and the 3D Remake are both great versions of Final Fantasy III. You should play the 3D Remake for the story or if you want a challenge, or play the Pixel Remaster if you prefer an experience closer to the original game. If you want to learn more about what the original version of Final Fantasy III was like, check out my retrospective video essay. Fair warning, that video is 45 minutes long and contains a lot of spoilers. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.